So a little while ago, I did a video showing off my compact router table. And in that video, you can see that I use a lot of threaded inserts on this project. And somebody pointed out that I have a lot of threaded inserts on the edges of plywood. And that can present a lot of challenges and they want to know the best way uh, to go about installing those correctly and easily. So one of the first challenges is, is that large pieces or long pieces like this are really hard to uh, drill on a drill press um, just because they're, they're long and, and getting them in there is kind of unwieldy. So uh, to get a square hole, I made a uh, drilling guide here. It's just a uh, scrap piece of plywood. I took that over to the drill press and I uh, drilled that hole so it was square, clamped it against the fence and uh, it, it makes a really square straight hole. Uh, the next thing I did was attach a piece of uh, hardboard on there. I just used some quick set glue and a few pin nails. Uh, pro tip, when you're pinning that on, remember do not pin in the middle. You'll shoot right through that hole. It's gonna be really hard to drill through later. Don't ask how I know that. So once you have this all set up, um, you're ready to bring it over to your workpiece. Uh, you can do all that work at the, the bench here now. I've got a long piece of plywood here clamped in the vise. And you can see on my clamping guide, I've continued my layout line from my hole all the way down. That way I can locate where this needs to be once it's on there, where the hole is going to be. Uh, the quarter inch hardboard acts in, as a nice stop and a way to clamp this on here. So it gives it a little lip. So I'll get this located in the right spot. There we go, and I can use my clamp. Okay, now I'm ready to drill this hole. I've added a, a little uh, masking tape flag on there just to, to locate the depth so I don't drill too far or too shallow. So I can go ahead and drill this hole. The next thing I like to do when uh, I've drilled the hole for the threaded insert is to give it a little chamfer. So I'm just going to use a countersink bit. And that chamfer is just going to uh, help me uh, start the, the threaded insert a little bit easier and it helps so that when I'm threading this in, the, the fibers don't want to lift up. So to mount this, I'm just going to use a hex bolt with a couple of nuts on there. That's just going to lock it in place and make it easier to remove the bolt later. Uh, I also like to use a little paraffin wax, kind of wax those threads. Helps it go in a little easier too. Uh, the next problem when uh, installing these inserts into edges of plywood, it wants to wedge the plies out and it often splits the plywood. So I like to support it with a hand screw, just kind of get some clamping pressure right around that hole. I can come in, just use a wrench here, get that started square. those are flush, I can back this out. See I've got the insert installed in there, no plywood splitting, pretty easy process. So, so I recommend making a drilling guide like this, pretty easy to do. Uh, it gives you the ability to drill the hole at a 90 degree angle. Um, don't forget to lubricate your threads and, and support the plywood with a clamp and you should have no problem.